Yes. Good afternoon, children. Once again, everyone keep with you AIT physics textbook. Once again, myself, I am going to record it. Electrical conductivity of liquids. Electrical conductivity of liquids. Uh, within this lesson, we are going to discuss about water conductors uh, insulators. Just recuperating already after the lesson over. Uh, Srinitha. Yes, Srinitha, what do you want there? Srinitha, what do you want? Srinitha, what do you want there? Any problem? Maninetha, sit right. Boy, Maninetha, what about you? Arshita. Sir, your voice is not clear, sir. Voice is not clear. Okay, no? Good. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. It is clear now. Yes, sir. Okay, right. Okay, right. Yes. So, electrical connectivity of liquids. Say, uh, sometimes you can identify that uh, farmers or someone, when they are going to touch it with the uh, electrical circuits, otherwise uh, electric poles, which be there, may, we may get the electric shock, you know. Electric shock. Arshita, yes. Sir, this lesson completed. This is completed. Okay. Uh, our results completed, but uh, for them not over. For, the, for uh, violent students not over. Violent students, half of the lesson only over. And uh, just recuperating there, what we, what uh, finished okay, previously. Uh, okay. Half of the Sir. lesson only completed for uh, violent students. Eighth violent students. For us completed. For us completed. Eighth white. Uh, Yellow section students also completed. Okay. For violet students only not over. Yes. Imasri, what do you want there? Imasri. 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 Imasri, what do you want? Right. Just re recuperating there and uh, Yes, our elders also may instruct for us uh, when when you are going to touch us with the uh, electric force or something electric uh, circuits. Okay, you should touch with the uh, wooden pole. Okay, sometimes we you may identify uh, in the rainy season uh, why we have to uh, touch with the electric circuits, electrical wires with the uh, wooden pole. What is the reason? Yes, Rishitridi. Yes, Rishitridi. Rishit Reddy. Yes, you must read. Sir, shall we write on 6th and 9th or 6th to 9th? CW. Almost uh, okay. Uh, what gear? You are asking. Say, Sir, on 6th to 9th. Yes, what topics we are discussing? Okay. Uh, within the syllabus, what topics are there? What we are teaching to you? That lesson should write. Remaining lessons uh, we can observe. We will see that. Understood? You must read. Sir, in the paper gave six, sixth ninth. Okay. Sixth lesson reflection of light. Yeah. Ninth lesson electricity. Ninth lesson electrical connectivity of liquids. You know? Ah, yeah. Both are there. Yeah, okay. shall we write only the two lessons or six to ninth? <laughs> okay, you are asking. Oh, no, no, no. What topics we are discussing, that only. Okay. okay. 
remaining uh, what topics are there in between the sixth and uh, ninth within the portion whether we taught that lessons whether we taught that lessons you must read sir no. no okay so yes you should write that reflection of light and uh, sixth unit and as well as a uh, ninth electrical conductivity of liquids you should write that first okay. okay so we will discuss that uh, okay. later okay thank you sir okay welcome to okay. now yes uh, here say when electric circuit here constructed testing conductivity of uh, material uh, here wooden body there and above that wooden board just uh, recopulating uh, observe the things here pins inserted okay here safety pin there extra electrical components are there electrical components are there electrical wires there here and next uh, uh, which converts uh, electrical electrical energy into light energy which converts uh, electrical energy into light energy which converts chemical energy into electrical energy actually here yeah, cell is there so cell that converts chemical energy into electrical energy and uh, electric bulb is there bulb that can converts electrical energy into light energy you know so here we we have to construct electric circuit what is required here what are the material required to construct the electric circuit bulb required here okay next uh, battery required battery required and the switch okay switch required for closing the circuit and opening the circuit to be may construct like this sir. and what you have to do here so when you are going to uh, join the yeah, safety pin okay in between two pins here two okay uh, what about the buttons like structure there you know so what is there in between there a yeah, safety pin there when we are going to join safety pin to these two terminals two terminals sir, then bulb all to glow bulb all to glow it should act as like a tester when we are going to inside tester within the electric source plug what happens sir tester can work you know lighted up you know what bulb there within the tester can glow glow up you know same like that so we may replace with uh, different materials okay which is a conductor of electric current okay which is a good conductor of electric current bad conductor of electric current okay are given that light emitting diode dry cell wooden sheet drawing pins safety pin okay and uh, uh, connecting wires so and observe you may replace with uh, different materials here what is the uh, a paper strip you may insert here strip of paper you may insert here yes you may insert here you may insert uh, in between the path of this uh, uh, in the place of safety pin you may insert paper strip piece of chalk and a uh, drinking straw and observe whether bulb can allow to glow or not okay and uh, you may insert here eraser pencil drop it uh, means uh, when you are going to insert particularly here uh, piece of paper piece of chalk drinking straw and piece of plastic and rubber eraser within the uh, within the means when we are going to replace this uh, safety pin with that materials at that time bulb cannot glow bulb cannot glow at that time circuit it will become open circuit it will become open so by through this activity we can understood water conductors good conductor of electric current bad conductor of electric current so we may 
uh, write that things here already okay you know that already this area completed you know just recuperated here you may write that uh, when you are going to replace that safety pin with the paper strip of paper eraser water pencil whether bulb glow or not bulb may not glow the things you may write here within the uh, table next say how can we construct a electric circuit what material required here chemistry 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 good yes chemistry sir what are the material required to construct the electric circuit what material required sir cell yes. sir cell safety pin light and wires light means here electric bulb led bulb yes uh, what is the use of led bulb in the place of we may use any other bulb why we have to use here led bulb what is the main reason sir they did not connect any one of you if you know the answer raise your hand yes maitre 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 yes sir we use led bulb because if if that uh, you know safety pin uh, produce little amount of uh, electricity the led bulb will glow but uh, if we come to other bulbs they won't glow with little good. amount of energy very good very good yes excellent uh, actually what is the main reason to use uh, led bulb in the place of electric bulb led means light emitting diode actually it can able to Uh, work it can work by the consumption of uh, lower amount of uh, electrical energy lower amount of electrical energy so what is the reason to use main led bulb in the place of or instead of electric bulb this led bulb can work by the consumption of lower amount of electrical energy electrical energy okay so s by through that activity we can uh, understood we may understood that we can understood very clearly what is a good conductor of electric current and a bad conductor of electric current and uh, what is electrical conductivity electric conductivity actually electric conductivity is the property of a material any given material you may underline here what is electric conductivity means sir electric conductivity is a property of a any given material you may underline in your textbook okay next uh, now here we discussed about solids here we discussed about solids sir what we used here for the construction of electric circuit electrical conductors we used electrical wires connecting wires we used battery next uh, what is that led bulb electric bulb led bulb we used electrical wire so switch we used what is the advantage of switch for opening the circuit and closing the circuit okay so now we can discuss about the electrical conductivity of liquids in the place of solids now we can use uh, liquids so very simple here yeah, what we have to use here injection cap okay the cap of injection bottle we may take that and uh, next the uh, electrical yeah. wires we should take here electrical wires uh, connecting wires uh, battery there here yeah. next uh, we should join here led bulb and the two pins are there here yeah, we should insert uh, two pins okay so uh, what is the gap there here yeah, one uh, precaution there uh, we should give that gap in between the two pins uh, minimum 2 mm around 2 mm okay 2 mm so when we are going to close the these two pins then led bulb can glow led bulb can glow when that led bulb can glow when we are going to close these two pins okay then at that time this led bulb can glow and when we are going to leave these two pins separated separately then led bulb cannot glow it should acted as like a 
tester total this arrangement acted as like tester acted as like a tester okay so now everyone concentrate here what uh, materials we should take here uh, we should take different uh, liquids different kinds of uh, liquids uh, we may take that what is there coconut oil kerosene lemon juice okay mustard oil and uh, sugar sugar sugar. okay we may take here different materials here different uh, liquids previously how like we replace the uh, replaced the pin okay safety pin with a strip of paper and a graphite pencil and a rubber eraser whether we replace or not is whether uh, we replace you know same like that here we may take that here different kinds of liquids we should take different kinds of liquids sir here this rubber cap of injection bottle it should be filled with different liquids and observe and every time you should wipe the wipe wipe means clean okay wiper wiper you know for uh, vehicles in front of the vehicle uh, rainy season we can use wiper wipe wipe ante tudukadam wiper it should be present for example car is there uh, in front of the car means uh, glass doors glass doors okay uh, transparent glass is there to visible the road you know so akada wiper ante tudichedi untundi water uh, water pressure is releasing you know so that water pressure what about that uh, by through the wiper wiper clean chestu tudustu untundi tudustu untundi wiper so here also what about that every time we should wipe the injection cap of the cap of the bottle okay here every time why what is the reason means sir actually for example uh, we fill with the distilled water at that time led bulb will not glow led bulb will not glow so when you are going to pour any other liquid okay any other liquid uh, like uh, mustard oil or lemon juice lemon juice means is a conductor of electric current okay electric current conductor of electric current lemon juice so first distilled water what about that we use you know so next uh, uh, first lemon juice we use for example okay lemon juice means at that time bulb glow if there any smaller amount of oh, lemon juice is there remains within the this cap of injection bottle so when you are going to fill with the uh, distilled water till this bulb glows why what is the reason lemon juice is there already lemon juice is there already these two pins these two pins wet with the these two pins wet with the lemon juice you know so what about that after without cleaning without wiping of the term, these uh, rubber cap of injection okay rubber cap of the injection what happens sir already remains here yeah. lemon juice is remains sir when you are going to replace with the uh, distilled water even though this bulb can glow actually distilled water is a bad conductor of electric current okay so these may not give accurate result accurate result here lalit lalit what do you want 27 uh yes why ah uh, 27 Lalit Kumar, what do you want, boy? Rishit Reddy, Rishit Reddy. Okay, next uh, we can discuss here. So, why through this activity means, sir, uh, uh, which is a uh, which solutions are good conductor of electric current, which solutions are bad conductor of electric current? We can understand very clearly. Okay. so what is uh, required for the construction of this uh, for knowing about the uh, electrical conductivity of liquids name is there remember the lesson that only electrical conductivity of liquids sir yet sell is there yet okay the cap of uh, injection here, here you know rubber cap of uh, that injection next uh, uh, connectors are there there here electrical connectors are there here next led bulb is there so these uh, we have to use and uh, different kinds of solutions sir coconut oil kerosene lemon juice mustard oil sugar solution okay and uh, what precaution uh, we should take here we should follow means sir 
uh, what was the gap there in between the two pins means uh, two millimeters we should give that uh, we should uh, take small gap in between the two pins so now yes so here table given so which is a good conductor of electric current digital what is a bad conductor of electric current as a result bulb that bulb cannot flow drinking water is that ions are there and some minerals are there ions means minerals are there here good conductor okay you may observe that things here coconut oil there and lemon juice okay lemon juice is a conductor vinegar is a conductor okay coconut oil is a okay whether conductor or non conductor non conductor observe the things remaining okay so next uh, now why doesn't that let glow in all the cases what is the reason so uh, a clearly given conclusion given here actually whenever current goes to the electric circuit okay what was the gap there between the two pins okay it should be uh, what we fill that uh, liquid what we fill that with the liquid that what is that uh, the gap of ejection bottle it should have acted as like a conductor it should have acted as like a conductor actually gap is there between the two pins sir so when we are going to join the two pins sir then lead bulb can glow but even though here by the uh, means after filling with the liquid vinegar like uh, vinegar vinegar means we can say vinegar means we can say ch3coh it's a chemical formula ch3coh acetic acid acetic acid we can say vinegar okay name of acetic acid is vinegar okay so for storing the pickles you know nowadays we are preserving the pickles uh, by adding this vinegar vinegar add just the pickles add uh, store just on that you know so observe the things so some bulbs can glows you know uh, ah yeah, yes see so why through this activity we can not uh, which are the good conductors of uh, liquids bad conductors of liquids sir okay next uh, now and uh, how can we identify that whether is a uh, good conductor of electric current bad poor conductor of electric current means sir by the glowing of bulb if the bulb glows brilliantly okay if bulb glows brilliantly means in that higher amount of h plus ions are present we are going to uh, give that information in that stored it as its base science also uh, in that there you are going to learn very clearly strength of an acid how can we identify the strength of an acid okay say if the bulb glows brilliantly or brightly means uh, that liquid what we fill with that liquid what we fill the a uh, rubber cap uh, with the liquid that is a good conductor of electric current if the bulb glow dimly poorly means uh, what we fill the uh, rubber cap that is a poor conductor of electric current okay so the things we discuss next how we have to join that uh, led bulb to the electric circuit actually longer terminal here longer you may identify very clearly okay uh, where we have to connect that actually for the battery positive terminal is there negative terminal is there so uh, positive terminal means uh, uh, here observe that here let's generally we call this let's here okay so when we are going to connect that led to the circuit longer led longer led this is longer led longer led longer led should join to the positive terminal of the battery battery means terminals are there you know like this this is positive terminal you know this is positive terminal this is negative terminal so we should join this uh, longer led to the positive terminal this join to the negative terminal for the battery okay so you may identify that next now we can discuss here and uh, when the when do liquids uh, conduct electricity when do liquids uh, conduct electricity say 
actually distilled water doesn't conduct electricity why what is the reason means sir there is no ions there is no ions so you may identify here and uh, your salt there distilled water with salt distilled water with copper sulfate here you may how we have to perform that activity means sir first say three uh, everyone concentrate here we should take the uh, three different containers we should take the uh, three different containers like this okay three different containers sir so listen here now what you have to do listen here within this uh, uh, how we have to uh, fill okay these three different containers sir okay uh, we should fill with uh, distilled water okay distilled water distilled water we should take that uh, and uh, what happens sir observe that okay within this uh, we may take that uh, say sodium chloride dissolve some small quantity of copper salt uh, in water of first container next uh, copper sulfate here cuso4 mylutitamo mylutitamo copper sulfate cuso4 next uh, lemon juice in third container lemon juice and uh, perform this activity observe that okay distilled water we may take that uh, distilled water in three containers sir. and after adding that uh, distilled water in three containers sir. in first container you may add sodium chloride second uh, copper sulfate third what you do you should take that uh, lemon juice sir. see next uh, observe that what about that uh, whether this conduct electric current or not okay whether this uh, supplies electric current or not what we discussed uh, previously we discussed you know tester like the two pins there the two pins we should insert here two pins of the uh, injection bottle what we used you here you know two pins we used you know that here activity two here so figure here figure two you know so here these two pins we should insert into the first uh, distilled water with salt uh, and second distilled water with the uh, what is that? Uh, lemon juice. Third one, le uh, lemon juice. So second one, mylutitta means copper sulfate. And observe whether a bulb is glowing or not. Okay. So, and three cases, uh, bulb glows. Why? What is the reason? Means, sir, distilled water is a poor conductor of electric current. But when we are going to add salt, copper sulfate, lemon juice, should uh, glows, bulb glows. Bulb glows. Up to now, what we discussed, uh, first uh, we discussed about Electrical conductivity of solids. How we, we have to construct an electric circuit. How we have to construct an electric circuit we discussed. Okay, what are the material required? Uh, the things we discussed, battery there, battery required, next uh, uh, what required? Electrical connectors are required, electrical wires. And uh, what we discussed uh, next, uh, the LED bulb. Okay, and uh, safety fit required here. And uh, would it bolt required? So we should perform this activity. How is an air by leaving the gap in, uh, in between the two pins? What we inserted to the wooden bolt? Yes. What do you want by Rishitradi? Rishitradi, what do you want? Don't disturb me. Don't disturb me. Observe the things here. So next, uh, electrical conductivity of liquids we discussed. Liquids means uh, here, battery, electrical con connectors uh, as as well, uh, with same activity, first of what we discussed, uh, lead bulb as as well, but here we should take that uh, two bits. Uh, next, uh, the rubber cap of uh, injection bottle, okay, and uh, different kinds of uh, liquids, kerosene oil, coconut oil, lemon juice, mustard oil, sugar solution. And uh, first activity, what we have to do, take here means, uh, Gropite pencil, okay. Gropite pencil. Yes, Raju. What do you want, Raju? Raju. <laughs> yes. So the things we discussed, you know. Next now, and after that, 
uh, what required for the conduction of uh, electric current through liquids okay what is required for carrying or for conducting electric current through liquids ions are required okay salt required when do liquids uh, conduct the electricity also we discussed now see chemical effect of electric current now we can discuss about the chemical effect of electric current so just to revise the recapitulated what we discussed previously uh, through regular class now chemical effect of electric current so what you have to do here different salts we should take different salts here okay different salts and acids uh, conduct electricity so whether vegetable vegetables conduct electric current or not up to now what we discussed uh, different salts uh, whether that conduct electric current uh, acids uh, conduct electric current uh, the things we discussed now vegetable oil vegetable oil means uh, vegetable vegetables uh, means first we should take here potato like this potato we should take that so cut into two halves so what we have to do after cutting into two halves so we should take one half half piece of the potato next insert electrical wires here we should uh, we should construct a tester how we have to make uh, test that here above this uh, potato means uh, listen here uh, lead bulb there here lead bulb so take uh, three connecting wires electrical wires uh, so one wire should insert uh, into the potato other should be connected to the longer lead of the lead bulb next uh, another one electrical wire should insert okay Uh, in the potato, here you may give one centimeter gap. You may give that one centimeter gap here in between the two pins. Sir, previous activity one millimeter. Two pins, sir, means sir, one millimeter only. One millimeter here we should take that one centimeter. We may give that gap of one centimeter. And what you have to do here? So two pins are inserted here. Here you know two pins are. inserted first okay you know, one inserted and uh, other it should be connected to the longer lead of the lead bulb next uh, one more electric wire there here inserted and other it should be connected to the battery positive terminal of the battery okay next uh, shorter terminal shorter terminal connected to the negative terminal longer terminal should join to the positive terminal you may construct like this and observe after some time after okay half an hour what happens sir we may uh, give gap of 20 to 30 minutes leave that gap of 20 to 30 minutes sir what what happens sir a greenish layer formed around the positive terminal of the connector positive terminal of the connector battery okay so you may identify that why they formed how that converted uh, in different color what is the reason here see potato means a chemical energy is stored chemical energy is stored there okay so after driving electric current by to the connectors sir then changed its a color okay why that greenish color formed here greenish blue spot formed over to the potato means sir okay by driving the current s yes. next now so up to now we discussed okay uh, and when you are think and discuss when given here identify everyone for example we are purchase we purchased a battery in a box okay big battery we purchased in a box okay actually two wires only uh, okay if only two wires from two terminals are given two wires given How can we decide that uh, whether it's a positive terminal, whether it's a negative terminal? Means, sir, okay, about that we can identify that uh, symbols also present. About that battery symbols should be there. For example, battery there here, like battery there. So about this battery, you may identify that uh, two terminals, sir. One is a positive terminal, one is a negative terminal. Yeah, one is a 
positive terminal, one is a negative terminal here. So, wire is given here like this. So, above this uh, wire means uh, they may represent plus here, here may represent uh, negative. So, likewise, we may identify this positive terminal, negative once again. Battery given, we remove the battery from the wooden box. So, wires uh, there, two wires are there. How can we identify whether there is a positive terminal or negative terminal? Sir, so, by the representation of this uh, plus and minus, plus and minus, plus means positive terminal, minus means negative terminal, negative terminal of the battery, plus means a positive terminal of the battery. Now, any doubt, children? So from the lesson last topic, electrolytic cell. Up to now we discussed the electrical conductivity of solids, electrical conductivity of liquids, and uh, do liquids uh, conduct electric current? Do liquids uh, conduct uh, electric current? And uh, electric conductivity of uh, electrotype also we discussed, electrolyte, sorry. Electrolyte. Electrolyte means here we added salt, copper sulfate, lemon juice to the water solution, you know. Okay, distilled water. Okay, it should act as like a electrolyte. The substance, the liquid which allows electric current to pass through them, that are said to be electrolyte. Everyone concentrate here. So sulfuric acid, HCl hydrochloric acid, it should act as like electrolyte. Sulfuric acid H2SO4, sorry. H2SO4, sulfuric acid, HCl. HCl is the strong acid. Strong acid. This is the sulfuric acid means uh, we should uh, use it in the storage of batteries. Bus batteries. We should uh, store in the bus batteries uh, for storage of the bus was battery research, sulfuric acid using. So electrolyte, these are electrolytes. Distilled water with salt pencil, that is a following electric current to pass through them, you know. So that is said to be electrolyte. 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 Next now. So last topic today. Uh, we can discuss about electrolyte. Electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell. Okay. See. And uh, all the above activities, the battery we have used in the made up of in the made up of dry cells. Yes. Okay. What we discussed up to now. Uh, batteries we use, you know, for uh, the connecting of uh, Potato for the connecting of uh, liquids injection, the injection cup of the bottle, you know, so activities and uh, electrical conductivity of solids. Uh, that battery we used uh, actually that is made up of uh, dye cell only. Why? What is meant by dye cell? What chemicals are used uh, for blowing the electric bulb uh, by using battery? Within that battery, all chemicals are present in the form of uh, dry. All chemicals are present in the form of dry. Okay, so now can you produce that electric current uh, in another way? So before going to that, uh, first uh, we will discuss that uh, tomorrow. I will explain to you uh, lengthy topic there. Okay, and uh, make your own cell also. We will discuss that. Myself, I am going to put some questions. And the electrolysis there, electrolysis, the electroplating process there. Okay, remaining topic electroplating. Okay, electroplating process should be there. And uh, how we have to construct uh, our own cell, make your own cell. What are the material required for making the own cell? And uh, what are, what is electrolyte, what is electrodes? And uh, Applications of electroplating, where we are using in our daily life, where we are using. So, if we discuss the means, lesson it will go over. Tomorrow we will discuss that. Now, myself, I am going to ask questions.
Yes. If you have any doubt, to raise your hand, children. If you have any doubt, to raise your hand. Okay, myself asking to you no questions. Yes, Surya. Surya. Yes, Vaishnavi. Sir. What are the materials required to construct the electric circuit? What are the materials required to construct the electric circuit? The touch, LED light, a dry cell, wooden sheet. To draw two drawing pins, a key. Okay, and piece of correcting wires. Okay, okay, okay. What is the abbreviation of LED? Get. What is the abbreviation of LED? Otherwise, uh, Arishni. Arishni. Sir. Varun. Varun. What is the abbreviation of LED? LED. Abhinav. Abhinav. What is the abbreviation of LED? Roshni. Sir. Yes, Roshni, you can answer now. The light emitting diode. Yes, good. Light emitting diode. Yes. Okay. 